Hey guys, I'm Rohan Rahul. Let me ask you a question today. What is easier to find, cube roots or square roots? Obviously, everybody thinks square roots are easy because it's just raised to 1 by 2. However, cube roots on the other hand are raised to 1 by 3. Let me change your perception about this today. Have a look at these. These are the 10 cubes that you gotta know to find out cube root of any number possible. 1 cube is 1, obviously. 2 cube is 2. 3 cube is 27. 4 is 64. 5 is 125. 6 is 216. 7 is 343. 8 is 512. 9 is 729. 10 is 1000. More importantly, focus on the units place. 1 ends in 1. 2 ends in 8. 3 ends in 7. 4 ends in 4. 5 and 5. 6 and 6. 7 and 3. 8 and 2. 9 and 9. And 10 and 0. The most important observation out here is every units place is unique and this property of cubes makes cube roots very 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 easy to calculate the same is not true however in squares because if you notice 4 square ends in 6 and 6 square also ends in 6 now that doesn't happen in cubes okay so let's take an example let's take a number let's say you want to find out the cube root of 658503 now this is a question 658503 okay you have any entrance exam any aptitude test you'll always have perfect cubes don't worry about that okay so 658503 is a perfect cube let's find out the cube root of this okay step number one count three from the right hand side so one two and three and I'll make a partition as soon as I make a partition I divide the number in two parts the front part is this and the back part is this so now the front part consider the front part 658 658 let's find the range of 658 if you notice 658 will lie lie between this number and this number all right lies between 8 cube and 9 cube so i write it down here this way it lies between 8 cube which is 512 and 9 cube which is 729 take the lower number i'll write 8 here okay so that's the first number all you all you gotta do is front portion will give you the range okay find the range of the front portion 658 for example was the front portion in our case so we found the range is 8 cube to 9 cube write the lower number down which is 8 okay now in the back portion all you gotta do is look at the units place what is the units place 3 which cube has a units place of 3 7 all right so 7 has a units place of 3 so I'll straight away say it has to end in 7 because the unit space of the cube is 3 so the number has to be 7 and that is the cube root of this number 87 okay let's try the same one 405224 okay first things first 1 2 3 and make a partition I have 405 now I'll find the range of 405 405 will lie between if you notice 405 lies between this number and this number 7 and 8 cube okay so I'll say it lies between 7 cube and 8 cube 343 and 512 so I'll write the lower number down which is 7 okay and ends in 4 now which cube ends in 4 look at this which cube ends in 4 here 4 cube ends in 4 so I'll say since 4 cube ends in 4 the units place of this has to be 4 and that's the answer 74 this is how you find out cube root of any perfect cube you encounter in your life thank you very much have a great time calculating cube roots of perfect cube thank you also thank you very much for appreciating my first video have a good day folks